Okay, we're going to get started with October's Club Q kit. And this one is called Every Leaf Speaks Bliss. It's item number 1590. And it says that we suggest Emerald Forest uh, Powder Puff Chalking Ink, Poppy, and Manzanita. The colors that I actually have here, so you choose the colors that work for you out of your stash at home, but I have uh, Manzanita, I have Tree Trunk, I have Mango, I have Peppermint Stick, Dandelion, and Weeping Willow. So there's lots of colors that will match this layout. You choose the ones that you like the best. Uh, we are going to do the cutting diagram first, but I wanted to point something out to you here. I have all my die cuts punched out, but I want you to know that these are all pieces that we are going to use. So the ones that we have like a leaf punched out of the middle, we're still going to use that back piece for a um, photo mat. So when you do, if you want to pause and punch out um, your die cuts, you can, but make sure you save these rectangular, rectangular pieces for photo mats. Okay, and we are going to bring in, take this out of the way, and we are going to bring in our background papers, which are the two yellow sheets. And you can turn this any way you would like. Most of it is covered up. And one trick that I usually like to do is if you're covering up almost all of that paper, I like to actually cut out the center here so that you can use that big chunk for something else. So if you cut like a 10 by 10 square out of here, you will still have um, space to put your brown on top of it but then you have this big chunk of paper that you could use for something else if you want to, because it's just hidden and you'll never see the back of it. So that's what I do. Here it is. Switch these out. And you don't necessarily have to cut out that center piece. It just gives you extra paper to use for something else too, if you would like. Okay, and actually, just to get started before we do the cutting, which I normally always do the cutting first, but we can put these to, these are already cut down for you, so it makes it easy to just center these and add them right to your background paper. You can also, if you wanted to lighten it up, you can also use this side and do a lighter brown color too. I personally like the dark, so I'm gonna use that. And this just gets centered. You can put the wood grain going either way. That's not going to make any difference. Whatever you prefer. And we'll center that. And we'll do this one. Oops, I think I might be out of. I am out of tape so I will use that barely art glue I have a little bit on here enough to make it stick I think okay okay we have the background done and I'm gonna move the trimmer in so that we can do the cutting diagram. I'm gonna put this right next to it so we can see what we're cutting. I am going to cut out the four by, actually I'm gonna cut at the six and a half inch line here first. So let's grab our dotted green paper, put it in at six and a half and trim all the way across. Once you have that six and a half, 
we turn it to four and a half and trim. Four and a half again and trim. And if I get ahead of you, just hit pause. So then you have two, six, four and a half by six and a half. And this last little piece is already at three inches. So I need to turn it this way and trim at four and a half. And this is just leftover extra. It would actually make a cute little tag somewhere. You can make that into a tag. So this last piece is the three, oops, the three by four and a half. With this leftover piece, we need a four by six. So I'm going to cut it at six inches, or actually, what is it at here? Yeah, so cut it at six inches. And you have a good size piece left over. That's just left over that you can use later. And then we need it four by six. So we're gonna pull it into four and trim. And there's a four by six. And I think that's all the cutting we have on this one. The only other piece would be to trim out your quote and you can use regular scissors with that or you can use the trimmer, it's up to you. But I'm gonna get my trimmer out of the way and just start layering my page here. Now, like I said earlier, we are going to use these pieces. I think these two are the same, let's see. So the two that have, the two biggest ones that have the leaves punched out of the center, one goes here, one goes here, and the other one that's just slightly smaller will go here, and then this smaller piece goes up here. And then we'll come back through and add our green photo mats to the top. And as we go, feel free to chalk up edges of things to whatever color you would like. And your four by six goes here. Oh, you know what, I may have cut that a little short. But you know what I'm gonna do? Let's see, I think I did. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut off a quarter of an inch from this one because it's a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna put it in and trim a quarter of an inch. And then this fits right in the middle of it. Oh, it actually looks like it needed a half an inch. Sorry about this, I trimmed it at the wrong size, but we're making it work here. So another quarter of an inch off the end. There we go. And that fits right in the middle. So when you do glue these on, just make sure you do around the edge of this back when you put it down because the glue will go through right here and stick where you don't want it to stick. So just around the outside edges. My glue ran out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay all this right where it needs to be. And you can move these around however it works for you. If you need to move this down so it's not covering up so much of the larger picture, it's totally up to you. You do what works for you and your pictures. 
And from here, I am going to chalk up a few I'm going to chalk up a few leaves here. And I love adding a little red to this yellow. It makes it a little bit bright and kind of orangish. That is the peppermint stick that I added to it, the red. Here is the mango Mai Tai. I'm going to add a little bit of that to it. A little orange. Uh, you chalk them up as you go, however you see fit. If you don't have your photos on your layout yet, you want to make sure, like this is gonna go down like this, but you wanna make sure you only put the glue on this little side of your quote so that when you get a picture on there, it's not glued down. You wanna be able to put your picture in there. And then from there, I just look at the picture here and I just start layering the leaves, finding ones that match. And my glue ran out, so I'm not tacking these down. But if you want to, you could go ahead and just lay these out. And then what I normally do is I just pick up the edges later and I put a few dots of glue and then lay that back down. It makes it easy so that you can get things into place right where you want them. And then you can glue them down later so they're not sticking somewhere that you don't want. And again, you move these around so that it works with your photos. I'm just kind of going off of what is in the picture here. And once you get these placed, you can lift up the edges and put a little glue underneath there. Uh, right up here, we need there's two of these that look exactly the same. One of them goes up on this corner and a large red button and two smaller yellow buttons. And again, if you don't have your photos in there yet, you may not wanna glue these all the way down so that you can go so that you can fit your photos in later okay so page two is done super simple but I love this page because it looks nice and layered and lots of colors and um, the stamps on this the stamped look makes it look like it has even more layers okay so we are going to build page one now you have a little half circle tuck that in there And from there, we will just start kind of layering the um, the leaves and the uh, little embellishments on. I'm looking for another color here. So you can add extra green to some of these if you want it more green and brown and add some darker colors. I'll put a little green in there. This is Weeping Willow, so it has kind of an olive green. Um, if you want to brighten them up a little bit, I have a Mango Mai Tai. Manzanita is a really nice kind of red-brown. Okay, and then I'm just going to start layering these just kind of like it looks like on the picture here. But there's no exact right way to do this. It's really just layering it up. Looks like the two little hollow leaves go out the top there. This is just the way that I do it, but if you have a simpler way or something that works for you, you go right ahead. That one doesn't show much on this tree trunk. Maybe I'll use manzanita on this one. Just kind of brighten up the edges a little bit. Maybe a little orange doesn't change it much, but it gives it just a little bit of brightness there. And once this goes into your page protector, 
these, as long as you have a few spots of glue on each of these, these are not gonna come off of the page. So I just lift up little bits of the corners and the ends of the leaves and I add a little dot of the Barely Art glue. Um, I don't have one with me this time. And it's sitting all the way across the room. So I'm just going to layer these up and I'll glue them down later. But really all I do is I lift just the ends of them up and I put a couple spots of glue and lay this back down. And the Barely Art glue it dries clear, so that's nice. It leaves a nice clear look to it. But this is also one reason I don't glue until the end because a lot of these and depending on how you how much you want to go over your picture there. Um, but a lot of these need to be moved around just a little bit just to fit on your page. Or if you want to rearrange. And I'm looking for a green one. Here we go. And if there's certain colors that you don't want to use, you don't have to use all of these. You can just kind of spread out what you have. I'm going to use a little red on this one. So if this is too much, just go ahead and take a few off of there because you have plenty to make it to make it all work. We added a lot so that you would have enough to go reach all the way around this circle. But any way that you would like to spread it out, I just kind of make sure that one is covering the end of the circle, the open end of the circle. And then once I have those on there, this one, let's see, let's tuck it underneath. So even this one, when you use the Barely Art Glue, it has a really precision tip um, to be able to get just a couple little dots under there to hold that on. Once that is on there, you have three little buttons here that just kind of finish off the page and add a little color. And you're done. Super quick kit but it looks like you have a lot to the page uh, with all the color i hope you enjoyed club q this month and we will see you next time